The Atmia Company is the joint venture established by Arriva and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. By combining the large experience and the latest technology of two world-leading nuclear suppliers, the Atmia Company has developed and is offering to the market the Atmia One Reactor, a mid-sized pressurized water reactor with an electrical output of 1,100 megawatts, a Generation 3 Plus reactor with top-level safety features. Thanks to its high thermal efficiency and high plant availability, the Atmia One reactor will bring the operators and electricity producer great economical advantages. This mock-up shows the nuclear island of the reactor. The main component of the primary system is the reactor pressure vessel. The reactor pressure vessel shelters the core of the Atmia-1 reactor, which is composed of 157 fuel assemblies. The reactor pressure vessel has several specific features. Inside the vessel, there is a heavy neutron reflector and a wide downcomer. These two features provide for a low fluence of the reactor pressure vessel during its 60-year life of operation. The in-core instrumentation is located at the top of the vessel, contrary to the previous pressurized water reactor generation with bottom-mounted instrumentation. Another important component of the steam supply system of the nuclear island of the Atmia-1 reactor is the steam generator. The Atmia-1 reactor features three steam generators with axial economizer, the design of which has been developed by Arriva. These steam generators have been operated for many years in the latest 1,400 megawatt French nuclear plants. This design is still being used in the Generation 3 Plus EPR reactor. This efficient and extensively proven steam generator design contributes to Atmia 1's thermal efficiency being among the highest in the world. The main component of the primary system is the reactor pressure vessel. The reactor pressure vessel shelters the core of the Atmia-1 reactor, which is composed of 157 fuel assemblies. The reactor pressure vessel has several specific features. The main building of the nuclear island is the reactor building, which shelters all the main equipment of the three primary coolant loops. Next to the reactor building, we have the fuel building with the fresh fuel and the spent fuel. The safety auxiliary building with the three separated safety trains. Train A, train B, train C, and the fourth diversified one which is called train X. All these safety trains are separated and independent. The main control room of the Atmia-1 reactor is located inside the safety auxiliary building. The reactor building is designed with highly reinforced pre-stressed concrete walls to resist external hazards such as a large or military airplane crash, fire or explosion. The main buildings, that is to say, the reactor building, the fuel and the safety auxiliary building are all seated on a single concrete base mat, providing them with a high seismic resistance. They are all water leak tight in order to be able to cope with a tsunami and or flooding. The four emergency electrical power sources are located on both sides of the safety auxiliary building, as you can see on the general layout view shown on the mock-up. The leak tightness of the reactor building is provided through a steel liner which is fitted on the inner side of the whole containment wall. An annulus space located at the lower part of the containment vessel containing all the penetrations coming from the reactor building will collect any potential radioactive releases which will then be filtered before being released outside. Inside the fuel building there is the spent fuel pool this spent fuel pool is cooled down through two redundant and independent cooling trains. 
An additional diversified cooling train is available, providing the whole fuel pool cooling system a high degree of reliability and robustness. The Atmia 1 reactor features three main independent safety trains. One located in Division A, one in Division B, and a third one in Division C. Each train has 100% capacity to provide for the whole reactor cooling needs. In addition, the Atmia 1 reactor has another safety train called Train X, which contributes to the safety redundancy and features diversified systems, meaning with different technologies, thus constituting an important countermeasure to common mode failure. For example, the cooling chain of Train X has a tubular heat exchanger, while the other trains use plate heat exchangers. The cooling chain of Train X has a dedicated ultimate heat sink, which is different from the ones of the other three trains. Each loop of the Atmia 1 reactor has a passive component called Advanced Accumulator. The Advanced Accumulator has been developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for their APWR Generation 3 Plus reactor. This accumulator has a flow damper inside which passively reduces the safety injection flow after a few dozen seconds of injection. This simple system provides the safety injection water in the primary loop according to the safety requirements in a passive way without any need of low head injection pumps. The Atmia 1 reactor has been designed to assure the safety and provide for relief around the site area even under extreme accident situations. For this, the reactor is fitted with a core catcher located beneath the pressure vessel which will collect, maintain and cool the core debris or corium over a long time should the extremely low probability core melt happen. This core catcher will confine the molten core inside the reactor building, thus avoiding any damage to the environment. The diversified cooling chain of Train X, dedicated to severe accident management, will cool the molten core. The cooling water coming from the water reservoir located at the bottom of the reactor building is supplied to the core catcher in a passive way. This water reservoir also supplies water to the containment spray system and to the emergency core cooling injection system. The containment spray reduces the temperature and pressure inside the containment. The good steam quality and high pressure of more than 70 bars, thanks to the efficiency of the heat exchangers and to the optimized operational parameters of the primary system, allow the Atmia 1 reactor to achieve a high thermal efficiency of 37%. This good efficiency makes the Atmia 1 reactor highly economical as regards to less fuel consumption, less spent fuel, and thus less recycling or storage. The reactor building is designed to allow accessibility during operation. For this, the Atmia 1's reactor building is separated into two zones. The green zone, which is accessible during operation of the plant, and the red zone, which is not accessible during operation. Each zone has a dedicated ventilation system. In the green zone, the temperature, the density of oxygen, the humidity, and the radiation level are similar to those of controlled area, allowing the performance of the outage preparation works during plant operation. Outage duration for normal refueling and maintenance is thus reduced to 16 days. For on-power maintenance, systems and components of the additional 4th Division X safety train may replace the ones of any of the main three safety trains without jeopardizing safety. For example, systems and components of Division C safety train may be isolated and bypassed through Division X during the maintenance operation. This on-power maintenance brings more efficiency and availability during the whole life of the plant, providing operators with a better return value.